LA investors, would you like to buy a triplex with only 30 grand? Right? 30 grand. You're an LA investor, I'm telling you, you can buy a triplex for 30 grand. Your brain is is probably confused. You're probably sitting on your couch in your underwear with Cheeto dust on your face and you're like looking at your phone like, what is this dude talking about? You can't you can't do that. This is I'm trying to watch Dude Perfect videos. Why is this dude in my feed telling me crazy things, right? It's what you're thinking, but don't click off the show just yet because I ain't messing with you, man. I got a whole thing for you here, right? I got a whole case study for you to watch. This is real life, real properties, a real triplex, a real deal. You could Google the stuff. You could look at the tax records. All of this is possible, and I'm going to walk you through it right now this is your show this is the show where i work for you directly taking your needs i'm going through the mls and i'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys put down 25 percent. that's the perfect way to buy this that's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and this is Holton Wise TV, and this is where I work with investors like you. Today, we're talking to L.A. folks, right? My dude, J.J., L.A. investor. J.J., we're doing some flip deals, and we're looking at a lot of other long-term rentals, right? You're in L.A., and you're working with some of your other acquaintances, and you guys are pulling money together to invest in real estate. Ultra-cheap real estate, I might add, right? Three unit apartment buildings that you can pick up for only like 30K. Now, JJ, you're aware of this. I email you these videos privately, uh, and then we do the deals, right? Everybody else who's watching Holton Wise TV for the first time, note that you can't buy this specific property. I already sent this to JJ. So don't anybody else call Holton Wise like, yo, we want 518 Lake. This video was filmed a long time ago, sent to JJ privately. If you want to work with us, though, in the same way JJ and his folks are doing, uh, click the show notes below to book a free call with my team. We'll discuss more, or there's our email address. Send us your phone number. We'll hop on the phone. Now, JJ, what I got for you, dude, I think you're going to really dig this one. This is a triplex. It's only going to require about 30 k out of your pocket. I put this under contract with another investor, right? We got that inspection report, and he chose to go another route. That's fine. What works for him might not work for you, and vice versa. I still think the deal's solid. I've reviewed the report. I think we should move forward. Now, we put it under contract for 115 grand, right? I believe, now that we have the inspection report, which I'm going to be emailing to you with this video, we can, of course, after you and your people review it, go back to the seller and be like, yo, we don't have to worry about doing inspections again. We've already reviewed it. I think we go 110. Now, I thought 115 is what we did before, but now we have the report. No more contingencies. I think 110. We could take this deal down for you, right? So what I'm going to do now is when you get this video, I'll email you that report, and I'm going to leave you now with the original analysis uh, that I provided to him, and you let me know if that plan of attack makes sense for you. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. This, this is what you're paying for. Let me stretch. Let me get a little, uh, a little, little stretch in there, you know, because this, this is where we roll up our sleeves and we see how the sausage is made, right? Any jerk off on the internet can uh, say, hey, buy properties out here in the Cleveland market because they're cheaper, right? Anybody could do that, but... Just because it's cheap doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make money, right? It is my goal to try to mitigate your risks of money loss as much as possible. So I want to give you all the information I possibly can so you can make an appropriate, informed investment decision, right? I understand uh, the Cleveland market is new to you. That's why I'm here, right? I have sold over $200 million worth of real estate 
run the largest scattered site rental portfolio of its kind, right? We're the one-stop shop for investors, okay? One-stop shop. Starts here, due diligence process, identifying properties that I think will make sense, right? Then after the sale, my team, we handle the property management. We do insurance, right? We do insurance everywhere in Ohio, right? So if you are watching this show right now and you have a rental property anywhere in Ohio, I can almost guarantee you I could save you money on your premium, right? Uh, reach out to us. We'll give you a uh, no obligation quote because all we do is landlord policies, right? So like don't ask us for a quote on your boat or your car. We ain't in that game, right? Just rental properties. Now, insurance, check. Property management, check. Maintenance, check. Renovations, check. Landscaping, check. But back to where it all begins, right? Due diligence. Understanding what you're getting, okay? Unbiased assessments. This is not my house. I don't own this house. The seller hasn't hired me to sell this house to you. You have hired me to break it down, see if it will fit your investment goals. So that's what we're going to do. 518 Lake Ave, Elyria, 44035. Been on the market for 20 Three days. The price, $122,500. I like this property quite a bit, but I don't like the price. We only have two photos. That is unfortunate, but it is par for the course when you're investing in real estate, folks. Tenant-occupied uh, properties, notoriously difficult to get inside to get photos. But I will say I do believe the listing agent and the seller were a little lazy on this one because it's occupied by two tenants, but it is actually a triplex. There is a third teeny tiny unit above the garage. It's like 300 square feet, something like that, a little one-one. Uh, it's vacant, so I don't know why they didn't give us pictures. So I don't know what's going on with that. We'll have to figure that out. Um, as we go further down the due diligence process, I'm assuming it's going to need a little bit of repair. Uh, probably nothing major. I'm sure you're doing just like a quick turn, right? But it's kind of irrelevant because it's almost priced in like free. You're really not paying for that unit, right? Now, 122.5 is what they're asking. I don't think we need to pay 122.5. I think the appropriate price here is going to be 115k. Now, if we're getting like just a standard duplex out here. Like, dude, we're probably looking at like 100K for this because uh, each each of the units in the duplex has three beds, one bath, right? And those are going to generate huge rents, 850 a month, okay? And then it's almost like we're getting that third unit for free, right? Like 15K is basically all I'm really adding on to that is what I think we need to pay for it, right? And that one, after we fresh it up, we'll get about 550, right? So market rents on this sucker, 2,250 or 27K for the year, right? But this is what... Uh, different rates, Holton Wise, Holton Wise TV, James Wise, whatever you want to call it, right? Whatever you want to call me in this service, what we do here. This is where it differentiates us from like other turnkey providers, right? I'm not going to just tell you, oh, you're going to make 27 k a year. That's bang and let's do the deal. No, there's costs associated, right? So if you break that down, right, this is the chart. Show you your fixed and variable expense performance estimates, folks, of the 27 k you're really only going to be making a profit of about 13820 right? And then if we get it at my desired price point, 115 k you put down 32 bank kicks in 86 right? That projects out to a 29.4% cash on cash return. Sounds sweet. We're not done, though, right? Let's get back to some other real-world things we need to discuss, right? That 29.4% return would be... If we can get the existing two tenants up to market rent, if we could get a third tenant in that garage unit, garage apartment unit without any renovation. I don't think that uh, either of those are impossible, but I don't think either of those scenarios are likely. Here's what we have, but this is actually pretty freaking sweet. Uh, the two tenants in the duplex are actually super long-term tenants. One tenant has been there for 22 years and the other for 10. Their rents are five ninety-five and five and a quarter. I'll tell you this, I'd rather... Have a tenant in the property for 22 years at 595, uh, then get market rent and change my tenants every couple of years. You will make more money with the 22-year tenant because where you really lose your booty in this business is turning units over all the time. So what we don't want to do is immediately go to 850 because we don't want to lose those super consistent tenants. Folks, 22-year tenants are not common. Do not anticipate buying a property like this in the Cleveland market in what I would call a blue-collar area, like a C-grade area, CB area. Do not anticipate buying something similar to this and getting a 22 and a 10-year tenant. That is an amazing 
run. You want to do whatever you can to keep those tenants. So what I like to do in situations like this is keep their rent the same for the first year and then slowly bump it up, right? The goal should be to eventually get them at or around market rent without a turnover. Because, dude, they've been there 22 years, bro. Like, 22 years? Like, if you think you're just going to sweep up when they leave and the next tenant's going to come and pay $850, you are out of your mind. Right? You got to do a full turn, right? Walls, carpet, uh, new fixtures, the kitchen, the bath, the whole shebang, right? You're looking at at least 10 k right? So, you want to try to keep them in there, right? So, it's going to take us a while to get up to those market rents. And then, of course, at the inspection, we'll have to figure out what's uh, the situation with that little garage unit. But again, it's almost a freebie, really. I'm only putting a $15,000 value on it because if we were getting a duplex here, 3131, we'd probably have to pay 100 for it anyway, right? So uh, if the garage unit was all jacked up, I mean, you could honestly just not do anything with it and just rock this as a duplex, right? It makes cash uh, with just the two tenants, right? So all in all, super solid deal, right? I like where it's at. Uh, the next step, of course, is to put in an offer and then uh, go through the home inspection process, right? Some things you should know. We are not going to be anticipating brand new roof, furnace, or hot water tanks, right? I know people do the turnkey investing and they think they're going to get properties with those new stuff. Now, that's not how it works in the real world, right? Like maybe a turnkey provider that just buys foreclosures, renovates everything, and sells it to you, but they're selling it to you at a premium. If you're trying to buy stuff at or below market value, fair market value stuff, arm's length transaction properties, we're trying to beat this seller up, get a, a nice little discount. What is that, 7500 off of what they're asking for? In the real world, landlords don't do that kind of stuff, right? Think about it. A roof, it's like a $7,000 roof. They last about 30 years. Let's say this roof's 22 years old. Why in the hell would the landlord... Uh, pay seven grand to replace the roof when he's probably going to get eight years out of it, right? Uh, furnaces cost three Gs, last about 30 years. Hot water tanks cost about a G, last about 15 years, right? So you're going to get properties like this uh, with these mechanicals uh, in varying age cycles, usually towards the end of their life cycle is what's common, right? That's why on your chart, let's pull that chart back up. As you can see, the capital expenditures I have you saving 1350 a year, right? You're not actually spending that, but I told you your net operating income estimates only 13,820. Let's say you don't have to do furnaces, roof or hot water tanks for the next 5 years, right? You would have 1350 for 5 years, right? In your pocket, right? It's not like you're actually spending that, but I don't let you guys believe that that is pure cash flow because I know eventually the $7,000 bills coming, the $3,000 bills coming, the $1,000 bills coming, okay? Another thing why we're into the chart Repairs and maintenance, 1350 right? You know where you spend almost all of your repairs and maintenance money? Turnovers, right? This property happens to have a 22-year tenant and a 10-year tenant, right? So fucking think about that, right? If you had 1350 a year times 22 years, that's an extra 30 grand, $29,700 of repairs and maintenance you're likely not spending, right? That we're budgeting for, right? Think about that. That's why your 22 year tenants, even though they're paying a little under market rent, that's why you should focus on them versus like hitting your specific uh, metrics, right? Real estate, yes, it's a number of business, but it's also a people business, and you got to play the hand you're dealt, right? And uh, make moves based on that, right? But all told, I think this is a super awesome investment, and I'm super high on Elyria right now. Uh, it's west of Cleveland, and I think we get a lot better deals in Elyria because the national folks are like just hammering Cleveland, 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 right? You see all these articles like, what's the best turnkey rental market? And they say Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. But people out of state, they don't ever realize that there's like all these other uh, uh, cities and suburbs around Cleveland. Greater Cleveland area has like two or three million people in it. Only like 350 or 60,000 of them live in the city of Cleveland, right? So there's a lot of fucking housing outside of the Cleveland city walls that a lot of people aren't paying attention to. And I also believe the government in Elyria is easier to deal with, more landlord friendly than the government in Cleveland, right? Like in whole, at whole wise, we deal with like, I don't know, 30 different municipalities, right? Elyria is one of the most landlord friendly of them in the entire Cleveland market. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.